Hello and welcome to the quick tutorial on how to log in to Report Exec and then navigate once you get uh, onto the home page. This is what the login page will look like. Uh, once the system is live, the link to this will be on my CML for easy access and you will enter your username and password that is supplied to you by Security Administration when the system goes live. You will enter your username and password and click log on and that will open up the dashboard for the program. You'll notice that you have a few different windows on the dashboard page. The top one is reports to complete. This is where reports will populate that maybe you've started but have not submitted yet. Or if you submit a report and it gets sent to you, sent back to you by security administration with any changes or edits, it will also populate in this field. You'll notice in the lower right hand corner that there is a internal messaging system. This is where security administration will be able to message individuals, staff members or officers, groups of staff, groups of officers or specific locations. You'll notice that there's also a task window in the middle, lower middle of the screen. This is where security administration can assign tasks or an inspection to a group of officers um, and they can mark whether or not it was completed or not with any pertinent information. In the lower left hand corner there is the BOLO tab or be on lookout and this is where security administration will communicate individuals or customers that we want the system to be aware of and to watch out for. You'll notice that there's uh, an example one here for trespassing or repeat a trespasser. If you just click it it'll populate and bring up the BOLO report with all the information. There's also tab information here on the side that you can click through. And you also have the option of bringing it up in a PDF format, which is really great to just print off quickly and then have it posted at your location. So you just click the PDF symbol, click print, and here you'll see that it puts it in a PDF format, and you'll be able to print it off and hang it at your location. So this is what it'll look like. And it has all the information that you need uh, automatically on it. Navigating outside of the dashboard is done here on the left hand side through the tabs. We're currently on the dashboard so if you click that it's just going to bring it back up. Under my information you have a few personal options. You can change your password after you log in. You can view any reports that you need to complete or for example any tasks that may be assigned to you. Under reporting you have the option for all the different types of reports that are in the program. You can do a found or lost item report. You can do a towed vehicle report if there's a vehicle that we had to have towed out of one of the branches, an incident report if it's a generic security incident, or a trespassing report if we have a customer that is continuing to violate their eviction and we're ready to pursue with charges, um, that would be a trespassing report. Under searches, you have the option within the program to search under many, many different fields. It's really a great feature. So you'll notice here all the different fields you can search under by address, contact, or uh, individual, by report type you can search, um, active trespasser list, or vehicles, uh, specific vehicles that you may want to search for. There's also two themes within the program, the default theme, which we're on now, which is uh, blue and white based. And then there's also a night theme which is better for low light applications. You'll see it just switches the color scheme and then you can switch it back. And then you have your logout button here at the bottom. And that is how to log in and navigate within ReportExec.